After doing the experiment, I feel as though I should have had more training. I was, um, you know, I think that's why it's so important that when somebody truly is visually impaired, they have proper um, staff. They have teachers um, that are supportive that will teach them um, the basic skills and then grow from that. But teachers, the literature says, you know, as far as teachers, they should be trained properly. There should be a foundation that these teachers are building from and that they're bringing and exposing these students, these visually impaired students to. Um, for example, reading Braille, you know, that's a very important aspect of the learning process and an essential tool that visually impaired students are going to deal with. Um, I know when I was paying, I mean, you know, I just kind of went into it without any training or um, any real knowledge of what it would feel like. And so when I did that, I had a lot of obstacles in my way. And I think a lot of students, you know, um, need the proper support and teachers that are going to teach them need themselves a proper support and training in order to do this because it is a difficult task to even pay for um, food, pay for necessities, pay for things that you need to, you know, daily activities that you need to, you know, especially if you're living on your own, that you need to do for yourself. Um, I didn't have a cane. I didn't have any of those things. Um, so, you know, I had a hard time walking. So that's why, you know, again, we had the guide, but it's one of those things that brings me back to having that support and having teachers trained properly so that we can provide the correct service and have these students be successful in life and not have difficult, too many difficulties or obstacles standing in their way. Um, I mean, I did not feel comfortable doing that, um, do, doing the blindfolding, just because I feel like nothing can compare to what they would experience um, for real in a daily life there is no taking off the blindfolds for them for me I feel as though there will be no equivalence in my life to what they're experiencing that's something that they're experiencing for real um, so it was worthwhile doing because I got a little peace but I really truly don't feel like I got a peace but it's kind of a weird conflicting um, feeling that I'm having because I'm, it just, I think the value of it is seeing how important it is to have the foundational skills like Braille and, um, you know, technology training and, and all of these things that the literature talks about as far as um, teachers being properly trained in order for them to truly and properly train those that really will need it um, throughout their lives and, um, having that support system, always supporting our students and making sure that they're, they need, they have the, uh, resources to be successful. I think that's what's most important, um, to focus on. And that's what came out of this for me is like, wow, you know, these students, I need to be sure that I'm providing them with everything that they need. Um, and that I'm having to reflect on what I'm doing and how I'm doing it in order for them to be successful um, and not, you know, handicapping myself by saying, well, I have too many students or I have, you know, so much going on. I can't, I just have to do the research. I have to do the things that I need to do to support my students if I do have you know, whether they're disabled or not, I think everybody has an equal opportunity to to knowledge and to education. So thank you.